let's simplify the following rational expressions. And uh, these ones will involve some negative numbers in here, so you might consider them to be slightly more complicated than a first level problem. This would be at least a second level problem. So I'm going to try to keep track of my numerator and denominator in different colors here. I'm going to try to keep up green and red if I can remember. So in the numerator we have w squared minus 6w minus 16 and in the denominator we have a polynomial from which we could factor out a gukuf, a greatest common factor. The greatest common factor among 6, 36, and 48 would be the number 6 and in order to make that leading coefficient, that w squared be positive, I'm going to pull out a negative 6. This will give us me, a, this will give me a big advantage in a few minutes, here, a couple seconds, I guess. So if we pull out negative 6, that w squared is going to be left alone at the beginning. Negative 6 out of negative 36 would be plus 6w. And negative 6 out of negative 48 would be positive 8. Okay, next stage. Let's try to figure out what the numerator and the denominator are from factoring. So, on the top we need an adding number of negative 6 and a multiplying number of negative 16. We need two numbers that add to be the linear coefficient and multiply to be the constant term. So if you think about it for a couple of seconds here, this would be num number negative 8 and 2 of course, because negative 8 times 2 is negative 16, negative 8 plus 2 is negative 6. So therefore the numerator in a factored form would be w minus 8 w plus 2. In the denominator, let's keep that negative 6 there, write out some parentheses and try to factor the denominator that has an adding number, same kind of idea, linear coefficient of 6, and a multiplying number of 8 constant term. Two numbers that multiply to 8 and add to 6. Multiply to 8 and add to 6. Oh, 2 and 4, right? 2 times 4 is 8, 2 plus 4 is 6. So on the bottom we got a w plus 2 and a w plus 4. Generally, but not always, if these are written for an exam or something in a mathematics class, you will, if you can factor either the numerator or the denominator, you will often find a common term because the major purpose of these a lot of times is to find something that reduces. So if we do so, if we reduce down what we can see what reduces now, it looks like on the top we have a w minus 8 on the bottom, as far as the actual terms, we have a 6, and we have a w plus 4. And just for politeness sake, since the top is doesn't have a negative and the bottom does, I just like to write the negative out in front separately. And so that's how I usually would answer this problem if it showed up somewhere. So, pause for a second, let that sink in, and then pause and try to do this problem. I'll do this problem right now, but pause for a second, see if you can work it on your own, and then I'll do it and you can follow along with me. So assuming you stop for a second here, let me say equals, and on the top again in green we have u squared plus u minus 30, and in the bottom I have 100 and I have 4, so the common factor, the gukuf of these would be the number 4, but following the same convention I had on the other page, I'm actually going to pull out a negative 4 because the u squared right there is negative and I like to have that term be positive. Let's see if that helps me out. So if, if I pull out negative 4 against the u squared, I'd be left with a u squared. Notice I'm putting it first because I like to put that square as my first term. And if you pull a hundred out of 4, well 4 quarters go into a dollar, so you're going to get a 25 here. But because it was positive, and you pulled out a negative, this would be u squared minus 25. Okay, so now off to the side. In the numerator, we have a quadratic. u, u, we need to figure out what numbers go into there. So, adding number, positive 1, 
multiplying number, negative 30, and it looks like that would be 6 and negative 5, because 6 times negative 5 is negative 30, and 6 plus negative 5 is positive 1. u plus 6, u minus 5. On the other hand, in the denominator, negative 4 hanging out by itself, and instead of using the x method on this one, I'm going to recognize that this is a difference of squares. It's a perfect square minus a perfect square. So I can use my shortcut, my understanding of this formula, to say that this must be u plus 5, u minus 5, because this always happens with difference of squares. Notice any reduction? I sure do. u minus 5 and u minus, minus 5 cancel out. And therefore, in the numerator, we're left with u plus 6. The denominator has a 4 times a u plus 5. And finally, that negative sign that's in the bottom but not in the top, I'm going to pull out in front for politeness sake. I just like the way this one looks better. And there's your final answer.